What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion video. That is right, we are not done with this boat, but I guess you're never really done with the boat, right? So I got some stuff in the mail that we need to attach to the boat. So today let's go ahead and do that. Check out that catfish. So this boat needs some rod holders. So I got two Atwood rod holders. They are white to match the rest of the boat. That is white. And then we also got some trolling motor quick disconnect cables. So obviously I already have that for the trolling motor. But in the last video I attached this battery to the boat. And I mentioned that I'm going to have to unscrew and screw in these wires every time. And I wasn't even thinking to like make a switch on off switch or quick disconnect. I was just like, use what I got in the garage to get it done today so I can get that video done and call the boat done. And I did not even think about quick disconnects or on off switch, so I just threw it in there and said, I'll just screw it together. But then everyone commented, get some quick disconnects, get some on off switches, and I was like, you know what, that is a genius idea. I did not even think about that. So today, we're attaching this to this wire here and then these bad boys. So I do a lot of minnow fishing, live bait fishing. In fact, if you hear a bubbling noise, that is because over here, I am keeping some minnows alive. So we got a bubbler. The last two days I went out and tried to catch some fish on the docks and nothing, not a single bite. I did get two walleye, pretty good decent walleye, to come up by the docks. They followed in my jerk bait all the way to the docks and I got to see them at least. That was kind of cool, but they just would not bite. The water is just way too cold or the bait was just way too big, but I don't know, sucks man. Fishing right now is horrible. It actually snowed this morning. It did all melt. There's a little bit right there under the truck still, but yeah, it snowed probably an inch. It melted really fast though, but it is cold outside. The wind is cold, it sucks. And fishing is absolutely horrible right now, so. But I am still trying. I'm trying to go out there and figure out the lake. I gotta get ready because once this boat is done, I wanna take it out there every day. Also, I just bought something. Something very awesome, something I'm so excited about. But let's go ahead and get to work on this boat and get this stuff attached. How are y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? I hope you are. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. It's a great day to be alive. I think I'm just excited about my purchase. All right, let's stop talking and get to work. So now we have the black box wires connected to the battery and then we have this quick disconnect to turn it on and off. So pretty simple, easy as that. Now we can go over to the rod holders. So here are the rod holders. Everything on these are adjustable. You can tilt them up and down, you can spin them, all that good stuff. And I saw this online and I thought this is perfect for this boat. So I'm gonna have these rod holders in this spot just like this, one on this side and then one here on this side. And then this piece will sit on top of that. It goes in a certain way. Let's flip that so it goes in the same way on each one. So you can adjust it, turn it any angle you want. So again, these can adjust any direction, turn any way, but they're most likely gonna be in this position here. One rod coming out this way, and one rod coming out this way. And again, this is for the live bait poles. Every time I go out, I usually have at least one dozen minnows with us, so. All right, so when I'm not using the boat, these can come out and these can go inside a hatch and then the boat cover can still go over these, no problem whatsoever, so. We'll have to drill four holes and screw these on. I may actually need to go get four screws or eight screws for these. They didn't come with screws. What? That's kind of crap. Another reason why I want the rod holders here is because whenever I built this section right here, this wall, I didn't plan for anyone to step right here, but I'm having a feeling that the back passenger, if there ever is one, 
I'm not even sure. We have to see how much this thing weighs and then go off that. But I could easily see the back passenger trying to like step right here to get up here. I mean, that would be stupid, but I could see it, you know, I could see it. So my idea with these rod holders is also not to just be a rod holder, but to also stop people from trying to step right here. So it kind of serves two purposes being in this spot. All right, so there is how it looks with this old and crusty. It's not that old actually. It's just crusty and dusty and a closed reel. Is that what these are called? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't know, but we'll get some beautiful Okuma rods in there. It will look nice and good, but it does look pretty good. You still have all this space to get down here. It's not like blocking your way or anything, but of course that is a short handle. A longer handle will stick out more, but that's how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go get some screws and we will screw this to the boat. There are two pieces of three quarter square tubing running through here. So if we could hit at least two of those, two screws on each one, that would be awesome. And these rod holders will be super strong. All right, so there are the rod holders attached. I'm digging it, it looks pretty good. That is how I will hold my live minnow poles right here. And speaking of live minnows, so I did not build a live well on this boat and that seemed to upset a lot of people, but uh, I really don't recommend putting a live well on a boat this small. I mean, that's a lot of weight and these boats cannot hold a lot of weight. But what I did get is this live well cooler. I got the 7.5 Ingle live bait cooler. I got this size because this size can fit inside one of these hatches. Open that up. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Sick. This net right here is a game changer for live bait. You don't have to dip your hands in the water, you can just pull the net out and you have all the bait right here. Freaking awesome. Yesterday we were on the bass boat, video coming out soon, and uh, the water was 40 degrees. Yeah, and I had to stick my hand in there because I forgot the net. You know, I wasn't prepared. Uh, but, yeah, that 40 degree water sucked. Just sticking your hand in there was horrible. So, you won't ever have to do that or worry about that with this minnow cooler. We're losing parts here, man. Got some stickers and decals, dude. Those are sick. They hook you up with decals. I'm all about the decals. All right, so here's the cooler. Again, this net just drops in, sits like that. And then here is the bubbler. So I've heard that this bubbler is super loud. Most bubblers are, but this one is louder than most others. But the cool thing about this bubbler is it doesn't run off batteries. You can actually charge it from the outlet. I think it does have batteries too. Sorry guys, I lied. It is not a wall plug in. I went to go plug it in and I was like, what the heck? That is not and for an outlet. So this is actually for like a car charger, which I do have an adapter for a 12 volt battery to plug this in. So I will be keeping that on the boat as well in case this, the batteries ever die on this. I can just plug her into a battery, keep the minnows alive. So. I will have to go get two D-sized batteries to actually have this run. Dang it, I thought it was chargeable. That sucks. Oh well, still cool. Okay, yeah, you can do batteries too.
fits with that on the side. I did not check that, but it should. But yeah, now we have this awesome little minnow cooler. It can stay in the boat, and also I can take it to the docks if you ever go fishing on the docks, or take it anywhere. It's pretty freaking sweet. Let's close this up and drop her in the hatch. All right, so let's make sure she fits. Oh, yeah. Let me close that. There's a little flap over here for the charger I opened up. She's definitely tight, but she will fit. I can already tell. If not, I can just take off the uh, bubbler and then put it, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, freaking perfect. We should still be able to open her up. Get our minnows out. Freaking sweet. And uh, again, these bubblers are super loud. So, and the Ingle brand is even louder than most other brands from what I hear on reviews. So, I don't want that sound being in the video, so that is why I'm putting it inside this hatch. Hopefully I'll be able to close this up and that will make that quieter. That's what I'm hoping, I'm not really sure. I could test it out, but I, I need to charge this uh, bubbler. It comes with really big batteries, I don't have them. Bigger than AA. But uh, yeah man, that is the plan for this. So we can have minnows in here, have maybe a gallon of water or 7.5 quarts. It won't be too heavy, it'll be perfect. So that is my plan for the live minnows. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for the boat, she is done. I still need to add like a rod strap, but I wanna wait until I fish it first. I'm not sure if I want it over on that side or over on this side. This side has the transducer for the live scope and then that side has the uh, trolling motor we'll have to worry about. So I wanna fish it first and kinda see how it feels before I add on that rod strap. Or if I even go into. I mean, this boat does not go fast enough to even need a rod strap. It's just, you know, one of those attachments you can add on and make the boat cool. And it's also a thing where you don't have to worry about the rods ever flying off. So I'll, I'll probably add one just to be safe. I worry a lot and yeah, I don't want to have to worry on this boat. But one thing I am worried about is the cold water, guys. Right now the water temp is 45, 47 degrees. Yesterday I stuck my hand in the live well on the bass boat and I could only keep it in for like two seconds. It was hurting. So I'm gonna wait to take this boat out. I know all of you guys are waiting for this boat to be on the water. Y'all want to see it on the water and trust me guys, I do too. Like I'm impatient but I gotta be safe. These little boats, these little 1436 boats, and anything under 14 foot, it is very wobbly. It's not stable at all. I would like to say they are, but they're not. I mean, they're fishable, they're fun. Whenever we took out the first boat build, it was in the summer, water temp was hot, and if we fell in, it didn't matter. I mean, we were out here shaking the boat, trying to see what we could do, see how stable it was. When Devin moved in the back, it like shifted my weight up front, and it like made us wobble. And again, it was fun because we could fall in and not have any worries. But now with the water temp at 40 degrees, it's not safe. And if I fall in, I'm pretty much dead. With the water temps at 40 and the outside temps around 40, it's not safe. So I'm gonna wait until we have like a 70 degree day. And then I will put this boat in the water. That way if I fall in or anything happens, I won't die. I can get out and still warm up somewhat quicker than if it was a 30 or 40 degree day so guys i'm gonna wait to put this boat in the water i'm sorry i know you guys have been waiting for that but so have i trust me i want to put this boat in the water super quick and play around with this live scope because the live scope is just freaking awesome so i'll probably put live scope on the new bass boat as well just because it is that awesome but that will be down the road of course but yeah guys the boat is done officially besides the rod strap she's ready man She's ready to be fished. We just gotta wait for warmer weather. And I'm sorry again, but I hope you understand it's not worth losing my life. Uh, it's probably not that big of a deal, but it, it can be. It can be a game changer really quick out there on the water, especially my lake. It's a huge reservoir. And if it gets windy out there, it is bad. People have died on John boats at my lake. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk my life for it. Although I want it, it's not worth risking my life just to get out there and make a video and do a little fishing, test out the boats. But once it warms up, guys, I promise 
We will take this boat out a lot, fish off of it, break it in, catch some fish on it, and have a good time. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.